Oh, hello. And, uh, Merry Christmas if you celebrate that. And if not, have a very happy uh, December 25th. Um, yeah. Just gonna do another couple hours here of Morrowind. Um, Got everything repaired and ready, because, uh, hey, Seth, Merry Christmas. Because, uh, yeah, today we're going to be starting on the other expansion pack. One day to you, friend. Oh, yeah. Uh, the architecture of Anasi's house is very nice. But, yes. Let's get into character. Ah, yes. Hello, Anasi. This one hopes you're doing well. But this one, this one's got a long, long time coming quest to do. Uh, no, no, actually. Um, th this one does not think they have ever seen uh, a lava tree in any Elder Scrolls game. Uh, apparently, um, this one doesn't want to know. Hello. I feel as though I've awakened from a dream. A terrible dream of the six hells. Oh, thank you again. Tell everyone I uh, know how you've saved my life. Oh, no I problem. Let's make it quick. Uh, yes. Um, it is an enchanted robe that Anasi wears, and this robe is also enchanted. Ow. Take corn berries from the sky. Ha <laughs> Yeah, this one gonna just walk to the back. does not know why you say goodbye. This one says hello. And the music has stopped. Probably not a bad thing. Ah. This one's adventure is going to take them over to uh, the mainland this time. Looking for an Apelis. This one thinks they've already spoken with an Apelis. Go ahead. Apelis made this. I think I saw him on the battlements. Might want to check up there. Good. Hmm. This one's guessing the one in the tin can. Yep. I'm an officer in the Imperial Law. Move along. 
Well, this one's been attacked by Dark Brother. Perhaps you've been attacked. That's bad business. I don't know who wants you dead, but I don't want to know. Dark Brother activity in Bardenfell has almost been unheard of. I have large contentions uh, back on the mainland. On the mainland? Yeah, more than whole itself, actually. If you're feeling particularly suicidal, you can check it out yourself. Of course, it's not an easy way to get there these days because of blight. Boats from Bardenfell will turn away immediately. There's one way you might get there. Speak with the Serious Rain about transport to Mornhold. She might be able to help you out. Seen her rain. She is a mage who arrived in Bardenfell about the same time I did. Special appointment to Duke Dread himself. Nice woman and powerful mage. Be able to find her in the Grand Council Chambers here in Abenhart. Alright. She will provide transport to Mornhold. Well, that's what uh, you'll need if you're hell-bent on tracking down these Dark Brotherhood assassins Claim you claim to have visited you. Alright. Grand Council Chambers. This one wonders if... Ooh. Uh, that broke. Hawkmoth Towers. Skyrim Mission. Ah. Jonas Maximus. I'm an officer of the Imperial Law. Me, leave it. Members of members of it. Yeah, sometimes this one doesn't know how to speak. Dinner Medinus. Greetings, friend. What may I do for you? You're seen rain? I'm a seen rain. How may I help you, friend? And this one hopes that you're doing well, Rebel Earth Sky. Well, this one's had some issues with the Dark Brotherhood. Horrible people. Steer clear of them, my friend. <laughs> this one's trying, but... Uh, this one needs to get to Mornhold. We should go to the mainland? It's highly reg regular. Sure, you've uh, heard they've restricted travel to Mornhold. They've been a bit worried about the blight. What's your reason for wanting to go to the city? Uh, this one fears they've been marked by the Dark Brotherhood, and they wish to investigate. Oh my, see why you'd want to get that cleared up. That's dangerous business, though I can't say if I'd be happy to send you off on some sort of fool's errand. If you're sure, though, I suppose I can oblige you. Uh, if you need to return to Vardenfell, speak with F.A.T. in the Royal Palace. Take care, friend. Those people are not to be taken lightly. I'll send you there when we've finished speaking. All right. Uh, what is your trade? Oh, well, goodbye. <laughs> Hello, I'm an officer of the Imperial Law. Move along. Well, this one has to talk about the Dark Brotherhood. I don't know why you want to go looking for those demons. Some say they live in the sewers beneath the Great Bazaar. Really? Interesting. The Bazaar. You'll find the Great Bazaar in the eastern section of town. We don't want any trouble there. Mind your manners. Right. Um. Okay. The Imperial Law. Don't steal, don't brawl or start fights, don't kill except in self-defense. You're caught, guards will let you choose your punishment. Fines or hard labor. Justice never sleeps. Right. Yes, do you seek transport to Vardenfell? Which the, uh, what transport to the mainland? Well, neither at the moment, but this one's glad to know you. Ours is to ask, what does this visitor want? Well, this visitor at the moment wants to, uh, <sighs> not certainly get hurt. So let's see here. Morn City of light. City of magic. Oh. So it's kind of like, uh... The, um... Paris. For king and emperor. All right. And you know much about the Dark Brotherhood? Not any more than anyone You're else. imagining things. Okay. Sure, sure I am.
Emperor, King, and Justice, citizen. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, one. Guards' quarters. Uh, this place is uh, very Emperor, confusing. King, and Justice. Exception. Well, that sounds better. Oh, it's you. Can I help you? Uh, yes. This one needs some help around. Well, you're in the Royal Palace now. South is the uh, Plaza Brindis Dorum. North is Temple Courtyard and Alamexia's Temple. To the west is Godreach. The east is the Great Bazaar. But you can't get there from here. Go to the Temple at the Plaza first. Okay. One needs to get to the temple or the plaza do you need something a map of this building whatever you want within reason that sounds uh, good Oof. long live the king this one's supposed so. You're looking for someone to watch your back. I'm available for hire. Oh, well, that's sweet of you, but no. Justice never sleeps. Plaza Princey Doron. Guards quarters. Temple. Before you take another step, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gaynor, and I'm, well, I'm an entrepreneur of sorts. Wonder if I could ask a small favor of you. A favor? Glad you asked. As you might have noticed I'm looking my best, not looking my best moment. I'm a little, shall we say, down in my luck, which is not something I'm used to. Let me tell you, at any rate, I'm looking for a little starting capital to get things rolling in Mornhold. Recently arrived myself as well, and I thought you might be able to help me out. Think you part with, say, 50 gold? Uh... Sure. Splendid. I really do appreciate it. Must say, you're looking quite the generous old. In fact, as long as we're talking getting along so well, you think maybe you could spot me another hundred? I am sure uh, that I can pay you back in just a few days' time. I always had an ex excellent luck when it comes to these sort of things. So, what do you say? This one supposes so. Oh, you really are something, Zarendar. You can see we're going to get along famously. Okay, be up front for you. If I could just have another, oh, thousand gold or so, I can really make it here. I just know it. You've been so good to me, and it's clear that you've got the money. Just a little more help? That's all I ask. You'll do it, right? A thousand? No, that is too much. Sorry. Oh, come on. I've come this far with it. You've already proven yourself the generous type. Why not go the extra step and really impress me? It's not like I'm asking you for your firstborn child here. Seriously, think about it in a moment. No, this one really means it. I am speaking the same language, right? I mean, you understand what I'm saying. Well, then why can't you seem to understand that I need this money? Give it to me. No, stop asking. No, no, don't say no to me. No one says no to Gaynor. Oh, don't think I'll forget this. I'll remember you, Khajiit. I will get you for it. I promise you that. Okay, goodbye. Well, this one's sure they'll never see that one again. And, uh... Really? Really? If a few words can help, I'd be happy to talk. Hi there. Wow, can you believe this place? It's just amazing. Everything's so beautiful. The buildings, shops, the women. I'm blown away. The women. I mean, I've seen pretty women before, but I can't get over it. Came from a small town to seek my fortune, as her father would say. Hard to get anything done he uh, here. It's just so overwhelming. And I guess a little intimidating, too. I mean, what would any of these women want with me? It's hard to hope that I might meet the, 
Woman of my dreams. This one thinks you're a little icky. God's reach. This one should also probably open up a map of the place. Spoken to Gaynor, a poor looking wood elf who had made some rather ridiculous demands of this one. He eventually got angry and threatened this one. Now he will no longer speak to uh, Razumdar. Yeah. Or Zanrendar. Yeah, not Razumdar. Razumdar was a great hero of the Second Age. But this is the Third Age. Is good, Zarandar. I like Sherry. Good. All right, the bizarre sewers. Okay, this one has night uh, night eye, but even this place is dark. This one should expect plenty of uh, undead. This one does not want to know what these walls are made of. Ah! Proper lich.
Well, this doesn't exactly seem like pool water, but... This one would be glad not to deal with this more often than not. the Black Dark Gang adventure. They robbed me of everything I hold dear. Black Dark Gang ambushed my lover and me in the temple sewers. Veneer held them off while I ran. When I turned to look back, Veneer was down. I just kept running. How with Veneer's ghost comes to me at night, begged me to come to him, to rescue him. He says that he has a message for me, but I can't get down there to face the Black Dark Gang. Veneer was a great fighter, but with one dart, he was dead in seconds. They'd kill me for sure. Uh, this one's sorry. How can they help? She looks at you carefully. I'm not sure. I've never seen anyone quite like you before. This one's just a Khajiit. But I'm not sure you're a match for the Black Dark Gang. They dress like poor beggars, but they throw deadly poison darts. One's enough to kill you if you run into them. Make sure you have many cure poison, dispel potion, uh, dispel potions, and if you see Vereen's ghost, speak with them. Perhaps you can bring me his message. All right, here's a ghost. And the gang. Got it. What do you want, Outlander? This one wants to help you. Matter district, matter district. Once found the Dark Brotherhood hideout in the ruins of Old Moonhold. Well, this one's glad to know. <laughs> this one remembers when they wore mostly your gear. Iron sword? Adamantium knife. Yeah, the poison was probably sapping this one's strength, yes.
Beaten, eh? Oh, definitely. This one should have a pretty decent pile of gold later on. Not that this one really needs to worry about uh, cash when they have. Uh, half a million on the person. That goes back to the sewers. Might as well check around here for a bit. Yes, uh, thankfully, unlike uh, <laughs> Daggerfall, gold is not given a weight. <laughs> means one needs to uh, visit the bank often. Uh, silver dagger, meh. simple beds <laughs> nothing under the pillow over here it seems hmm, grand soul gem magic ring
No escape for you. Both. Just do enough damage to break your shirt? No! Tell my liege I have failed her! Oof. Yep, this one destroyed their curus. Okay, well, let's take a look at this. The bearer of this document on the special dispensation of the Night Mother has entered into a contract in perpetuity er, with H. Has given special dispensation to execute Zarandar, Khajiit recently residing in the island of Vardenfell. In accordance with all laws and tradition, the aforementioned personages will be executed in the name of H in the most expedient manner possible. All services of Dark Brotherhood are at the disposal of the bearer of this binding, non-disputable document. Ah. So, someone does not like this one. Also, this one thinks that uh, Bo was probably a summoned uh, item.
This place is beautiful, but huge. Place for some cash. So I might as well explore it around the area. Was that from behind? Oh, it was. many rats. Yeah, this one should check out this final area. find. Can this one wear it? Well, this one technically can.
Well, doesn't seem like much will be found out down here. Oh, wait. This one came from above, didn't they? came from that direction. This one did explore here, right? Nothing there. Also, all of these, um, sources of fire in this small cave um probably not the uh the best thing to do um while uh theoretically you would have a semi-infinite supply of oxygen um it, it would just get very very smoky in here yes yes This one didn't see a ghost over there. This one's familiar with them. doesn't know you, so Ania has nothing to say to you. Well, that, um, isn't the worst, uh, mentality to have in a place like this. Justice never sleeps. About your business, but I'm walking, Chingo. Well, this one has something about the Dark Brotherhood. You believe you've killed their leader? Maybe, maybe not. Perhaps you speak with Feldris Hitler about this. Oh? Feldris Hitler is the chief steward of Al uh, Amalexia. You may find him in the temporal reception area. Okay. To the temple. She's probably over this way. I'm listening. Give to the temple and receive the blessings of El Malexia. Well, you know where Felder Siller is? Felder Siller is a steward of Lady El Malexia. He can found, be found over at the temple. That's good. Hmm. Hearts. This one could definitely use that. Ah, 
Now you are a good source of bloat. This one actually needs a fair amount of bloat. Nasi. This one's just uh, dropping off a whole lot of things. This one's inventory is pretty full. Yeah, would be nice. This one can just recall back. Yes? This temple is clean as Elma's Lexia's conscience said, uh, and mind you, we keep, or mind you keep it that way. Yes. Uh, where is, uh, Fedris? Fedris here is Steward Lady Omexa. You can found over at the temple. Th this is the temple. Okay. Oh, there you are. Ah, you're the one who's recently arrived in Mornhold from Bardenfell. I was told your arrival. I understand you have some problems with the Dark Brotherhood. Interesting group. And usually rather effective. I'm surprised you're still alive. Perhaps you have potential. Or they sense incompetence. I believe it might be of service to our lady. Uh, 
Yes, tell us one more about the Dark Brotherhood. Yes, an interesting group. Effective. Fear and mystery are powerful tools for them. They've been, uh, there have been kings that have been rumored to utilize their service, but that's only a rumor, of course. Mm-hmm. Their services. You'll find the Smith Bull... Oh, this is services around the area. Uh, service to Our Lady. I am always aware of those who might be interested in serving Our Lady Elemix... Er... Elamexia, few are worthy to do so. The temple in the city is guarded by the high ordinators, and the hands fill our duties for the lady. I am her chief steward, Fedris Hilar. Now, if you wish to be of use, we have some matters to discuss. Uh, of course. Perhaps you have already met young King Halalu Histon, a foul man, unworthy to sit on the throne. Still, he holds the right of succession. The lady must keep an ever watchful eye on this king, though, lest he do something that would be detrimental to their temple, our fair city, or perhaps all of Morrowind. Currently, there are concerns about some new recruits that Helseth seems to be training. New recruits. A standing army is nothing new in the city, though it's largely unnecessary. Mournhold is protected by your walls and from the outside, and by our lady Elamexia from within. None would dare mount an attack here. Still, tradition dictates the king maintain an army. We believe that Helseth is raising a different sort of army. A goblin army. Uh, tell this one more of Helseth. Our new young king. He's ruthless. Not foolish, as some would have you believe, since some of his mother's political savvy. And he has all of his father's ruthlessness. Hmm. A goblin army, you say? Foul, vicious creatures. No wonder Helseth has chosen them to be his foot soldiers. Not that the goblins are being trained nearby, though not where exactly. Ask around the city about goblins. Someone will know. Wish for you to find the location of the goblin training area. When you do, kill the war chiefs. There, there should be two. Sever the head of this army and the rest will shatter like a scrib. You might rid the uh, city of their two Altmer trainers as well. Complete this task and the lady will be pleased. Altmer trainers? Traditionally, the Altmer have used goblins to reinforce their armies. Why, I don't know. Rumor has it that Hellseth has contracted two Altmer to train his goblin armies. Find these Altmer, be a service to rid the city of them. Hmm. Happy to help. What's your problem? Well, this one has no problem, but it seems you have plenty. This one might want to head back to the royal palace. It seems there is some um, uh, disagreements around. Good the place. for the empire. Good for all. Hello. Oh, what can I do for you? Yeah. What can you tell this one about uh, Thelus Hilar? Irish should tell me Hilar has been with uh, Lady Elamixia for many years now. Serving a official capacity as her steward. What these duties entail is not known to me. There are rumors that he carries out some of the more unpleasant chores for the goddess. Hmm. What do you think about these, uh, high ordinators? They're much like ordinators you see in Vivek, but they're even more dangerous. Only the best of the sacred order has chosen to serve in Mournhold, where their god considers a great honor, and the you know, others caught in it are summarily executed. Hmm. Yeah, what do you think of the goddess? Amlamexia is a member of the tribunal. She is the wife of the Neverar, and one of the most trusted advisors. She resides here in Mournhold, and is much loved by the people. Mm-hmm. And the slaver going around here? Slavery is protected in law, uh, by law in Morrowind. Slavery is illegal throughout the Empire and considered barbaric. Slavery had disappeared in Somerset Isles and Valenwood long before their incorporation in the Empire. Most Imperial citizens assume the practice will die out as Morrowind adopts Imperial ways, and the subjects... Uh, excites little passion except among the Argonian and Khajiita abolitionists. Outraged that the Empire does little to suppress the persistent illegal cross-border slave raiding in southern Morrowind. Yes. Yes, this one is more than a little enraged. More than a little enraged. More than a little enraged. Very enraged. Morrowind. City of I 
was looking for reception and head upstairs. Maybe this one is up. No. Nope. Mornhold, city of light, city of magic. Justice you say never sleeps. Okay, at least it wasn't Mornhold again. Suppose I have a moment. What is it? Sounded like someone was something was taken, but apparently not. Well, guard. I'm listening. Please go ahead. Justice never sleeps. Uh, yes, this one's seeking um, location of somebody. Oh, this one's looking for the throne room. Okay, this one's just an idiot. Nice place. The king's health to you, Sarah. Thank you. I'm the captain of the King uh, Helsen's Royal Guards. Is this an official matter? Something else you want? Well, it could be an official matter. Sarandar, yes, I know your name. I'm Tianus Delton, captain of the King Helsen's Royal Guards. I have influence with King Helsen, and King Helsen is known for rewarding his friends. I have an official matter you might be able to help me with. Uh, tell this one more. There are rumors among the people that King Lenthen's death... Rumors that Ellen Leneth did not die a natural death. There's no truth to them, of course. Speak to the people about King Leneth's death. You are not known to them as my representative, and they may be more candid with you. Let me know if you find the source of these. Hmm. Well, this one will take care of it. Good. Report to me when you've learned the source of rumors about King Leneth's death. Right. Um, also, uh, this one's been attacked by the Dark Brotherhood. No more to say about that in a moment. Let us speak of other things. Well... Perhaps. Okay. Hello. Karad says nothing. Probably the smartest thing one can do. Justice oh, never sleeps. What is it? Yeesh. If a few words can help, I'd be happy to talk. That, that is awfully nice of you. That is probably the nicest thing a guard has told this one as of yet. Okay, this one doesn't want to go to the Dorum. This one wants to head to the temple. And to the bazaar. Ow! Greetings, Khajiit. I am Marin Otharis, founder of the Mournhold Players. I'm sure you came to watch our production of The Horrors of Castle Zir. Well, I'm very sorry to for you that we won't be putting on a show today. The troop has its own drama to worry about at the moment. Really? 
Yes, uh, wouldn't you know it, the very day we're supposed to debut our show, our lead actor, Tabers Bellet, comes down with cobblywobs. Uh, collywobbles. Can't find anyone to take over his part? Uh, I would do it, but my expertise is desperately needed backstage. So now, I've got to stand up here and try to drive people away from our heavily promoted production. I just wish I could find someone who looks like Tavers. Looks like Tavers, eh? Hmm, wait a minute. Khajiit, you know, you kind of look like Tavers. I think this might work. What do you say, Khajiit? Would you like to take on the part of Clavis, captain of the Imperial Guard, in our production? Yes, yes, Kitty looks exactly like the person you're looking for. Um. Yes, this one would love to help. Fantastic! Here's a copy of the script. As you can see, people are starting to gather, so we need to get this show started. I'm sure you know the horrors of Castle Zero quite well, don't you? Yeah, of course you do. No need for a lengthy rehearsal. Review the script uh, for the next two minutes and talk to me again. Make sure you come back within two minutes. Our play requires exact timing to pull off correctly. Okay. Or Castle Zero, one act play by Belleth Core. Labius, Captain of the Imperial uh, Guard, Sorolic, Anara, Dunmer Maid, Ulysses, the Lieutenant of the Imperial Guard, Argonian, Slasa, and Young Argonian Maid. Yeah, this one's trying to play a, uh, someone from Cyrodiil, one of the Imperials, you know, the Roman looking people. Late evening, the play opens in the interior of Great Entrance Hall, with a castle in Scath On, Repet. Er, er, eh. Replete with fine furnishing and tapestries. Torches provide the only illumination. In the center of the foyer is a great iron door, the main entrance of the castle. The staircase up to the landing above is next to this door. On stage left, this door is to the library, which is currently closed. On stage right is a huge suit of armor, 20 feet tall, nearly touching the ceiling of the room. Uh, though no one can be seen, there is the sound of women singing uh, coming from the library door. A loud thumping knock from the women front door stomps the woman singing the door opens in the library and Anora a com or common looking maid comes out and hurries to open the front door Clavidus a handsome man in Imperial Guard stands there good evening to you Sarah good evening is your master at home no Sergio it's only me here my master Sarah Kenna uh, Tavani Horaf Zir is at his winter estate there's something I can do for you? Possibly. Would you mind if this one comes in? Not at all, Sergio. Please. May I offer you some plin? Clavis comes to the hall and looks around. No, thank you. What's your name? Anara, Sergio. Anara. When did your master leave Scathanud? More than a fortnight ago. That's why it's only me in the castle, Sergio. All the other servants and slaves who tend to his lordship travel with him. Is there something wrong? Yes, there is. Do you know an Ashlander by the name of Sul Kafria? No, Sergio. I know no one by that name. Then you aren't likely to now. He's dead. He was found a few hours ago dying of frostbite in the Ashlands. He was hysterical, nearly incomprehensible, but among his last words were Castle and Zir. Dying of frostbite in the summertime in Ashlands? Perfect, that's strange. I suppose it's possible that my master knew this man being an Ashlander and my master being of the house of Tilvani. Well, if you'll pardon me for being so flippant, Sergio, I don't think they would have been friends. Is that your master's library? Would you mind if this one looked in? Please, Sergio. Go wherever you want. We have nothing to hide. We're loyal Imperial servants. As this one hears, as are all Tilvani. Note from the playwright. This line should be delivered without sarcasm. Trust the audience to laugh. Never fails, regardless of the politics of the locals. This is one heck of... A play. All right. Good job, Zarandari. Right on time. Let's get the show on the road. All you have to do is uh, head out there through the door, hit your mark in the center of the rug next to Girthine, stand still, and deliver your lines. Move quickly through the door. 
Timing is everything, and be careful. The audience knows the play well, and I'll be counting uh, your mistakes. Break a leg! Okay. Could it get any worse? Good evening to you, Sir Joe. Good evening. Is your master at home? No, Sir Joe. It's only me here. My master, Sadura Kenatavani Hordolf Seer, is at his winter estate. Is there something I can do for you? Uh, possibly. Would you mind if this one comes in? Not at all, Sir Joe. Please, may I offer you some flint? No, thank you. What is your name? Anara Sejo. Anara, when did your master leave Skathanud? More than a fortnight ago. That's why it's only me in the castle, Sejo. All the other servants and slaves who tend to his lordship travel with him. Is there something wrong? Do you know an Ashlander named Sul Kafira? No, Sejo. I know no one by that name. Well, he's dead. He last said Castle and Zir. Vec? That's strange. I suppose it's possible that my master knew this man, but being an Ashlander and my master being of the House of Telvani, well, if you'll pardon me for being flippant, Sir Joe, I don't think they would be friends. Hmm. Could this one look in your master's library? Please, Sir Joe, go wherever you want. We have nothing to hide. We are loyal imperial subjects. Uh, as this one hears, are all Telvani. Yeah. <laughs> A little help here? Guess not. A Daedric weapon? Not bad for an amateur. Oh my, yes. Saw what happened, Sarandar. I hope you could forgive us, but we knew an assassin would attack sooner or later. Really? Yes, well, you see, our lead actor, Tarvis, recently had a somewhat in uh, decent tryst with the daughter of a Talbani diplomat. Kiblai caught him in the act and vowed revenge. Since Talvaris uh, changes residence is frequently, a new attack would come during his performance when the diplomat would be sure of Tarvis' location. Aha. Uh -huh. Hopefully, since you were able to dispatch the would be assassin, the diplomat won't try again. I know the services of Morak Tong are very expensive to enlist. I apologize for using you in this matter, Zarendar, but I hope you understand why it was necessary. <sighs> Yes, well, I do intend to pay you in full. Let's see, during the play, I didn't count a single mistake. Very impressive, Zarandar. But your acting skills could definitely use some improvement. <sighs> Here, take this gold and this amulet that'll improve your acting abilities whenever you need it. Thank you again. Hope you can forgive us. Well, 2,000 gold and an amulet. Not too shabby. And yes, this one, uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, it's you. Can I help you? Yes, it's me. Th th is this one doing terrible? Uh, this one is 
trying to find out about King Lethan's death. King is dead. Long live the king. What more do you want me to say? Palace says he dies of old age. Not sure if that's what they say over at Lethan Manor. Oh. They make me feel, well, special. And this cash? Sharing is good. I like sharing. Right. Perhaps you will tell this one more? Nope. Anything useful? Not really at all. speak with you about this. Greetings and welcome, Sarah. In the market for trains, scribs, and rats? I think you'll find my price quite reasonable. Rats and scribs are fine as pets, or beasts are burden as tasty little mortals. Oh. Yes, when I was a lad, I dreamed of being the greatest scrib and rat trainer in the world. Given the capacity of scribs and rats, I flatter myself when I achieve my goal. These creatures are priceless, but since I can find myself unexpectedly short of cash, I'm reduced to selling off my superbly trained scribs and rats with packs. Oh? That's right! You can have a scrib for a low price of 20 gold or a rat for 25. They're trained to follow you and attack anyone who attacks you, or you can buy my exclusive pack rat for 100 gold. They not only follow and fight, but also carry small burdens. And in a pinch, when you've got some fresh meat on the hoof, whenever you need it. Uh... What do you say? Would you like one? Yes, this one would buy your exclusive pack rat. Thanks, Kazi. Here's your very own pack rat. i will follow you around right behind you whenever you go, and I'll carry small burdens for you. But take good care of them. They don't grow on trees, you know. Just activate your pack rat to activate its inventory. Pets or meat, get your scribs or rats. Finest quality. Scrib. Companion share. Come with this one. Let no falsehood spoil my ears. Oh, you are adorable. Greetings, is he? Perhaps you'd like to hear the latest rumors? Well, this one would like to hear what your thoughts are about King Lethan's death. else? He was old, but not that old. Maybe he just died, like they said, but maybe someone helped him along. There's a broadside sheet named the Common Tongue here in, that says Helsus poisoned hundreds of people when he was in the West, so why not here? Hmm. This one's looking for the Common Respect Tongue. Repaid, Sarah. Absolutely. Few words can help, I'll be happy to talk. Well, this one's looking for the common tongue.
Not here. This one, see. Oh, this broadsheet is a newsletter copied on cheap paper, featuring the sensational events of the city of Mournhold. One article describes a list of individuals who died in suspicious circumstances when their influx conflicted with those of a former prince of the West. The uh, reference is clearly uh, King Helseth, King of Marwyn, formerly Prince Helseth, uh, King Wayrus, in the province of High Rock. Hmm. A poet can have no higher purpose than to tell the truth about the human condition, Lord Vivek. Mysteries of the West. I have a list, and they will never be missed. Appearing in the shop, three names. Anar, Khajiit, Mail, Met, uh... Materius Nunnus, Imperial Mail, Gestol, uh, Essien, Print and Mail. What do these three names have in common? All three at one time represented uh, inconvenience to a Western noble prince named Helseth. Anar was an agent to uh, Eastern Ebony merchants. They were, or there was an unfortunate scandal concerning uh, improper contracts offered to Helseth as compensation for his assistance in obtaining Ebony uh, import remits for uh, from the Imperial Broad of... Er, Board of Census and Excise. Okay, like, I, I understand in the Elder Scrolls, Ebony is a type of metal, but considering the themes that are included in this game, whew. Anyway, okay, Prince Helset, the scandal blew over when no one could find it be found to testify. It's just a coincidence that Inar's health went into a steep decline just as he was about to testify before the Imperial Magistrates. He died a natural death, according to the Imperial Coroners. Convenient, timely, perhaps, but natural. Uh, Martyrus Arenatus. <laughs> really? Your, your name was Martyrius Atenius. Hmm. Your, your parents did not like you. <laughs> was a city alderman of Weirest. Prince Helseth, liaison with alderman's married daughter, was potentially embarrassing to the prince, especially when Martyrus Arrhenius uh, forcefully pressed his suit for predatory adultery in Weirest courts. Hmm. Many thought it was strange that Martyrus Arrhenius should suddenly fall ill and die of exhaustion on the eve of the trial. The suit was settled out of court and charges were dismissed. The Imperial Coroners ruled uh, Martyr Serenius had died a natural death. Convenient and timely, admittedly, but natural. Jusul uh, Arrhesi was diplomatic atta er, attaché at the High Rock Embassy in Weyrest, widely rumored to be an, intelligent o er, an intelligence officer. Jusul uh, Asil was often seen at court, taking great interest in the affairs of Queen uh, Baron Zaya and her family. Said that Weyrest could be a beastly, uncomfortable place in high summer. Perhaps the Breton's constitution was ill-suited for the relentless heat and uh, pestilential swarms of the southern Iliac. Just old uh, Asasel suddenly took ill one evening, and within three days he was dead. Once again, Imperial Corners ruled Jasul Asil had died a natural death, conveniently and timely less, but natural. And these, the common tongue notes significantly, are only the A's on the list. Some have quietly suggested that Prince Helseth was the most accomplished, uh, the subtle, po subtle poisoner in the West, but that the common tongue would never seen a single crap scrap of evidence that would prove such an indictment. Admittedly, the absence of such proof could count as qualifying towards the title of most accomplished and subtle poisoner. 
And further, the common tongue does not wish to suggest that he, King Helsinth is a poisoner. The recent death of King Alan Lethen was a poisoning, not a natural death. Common tongue was never seen a single scrap of evidence that would soon prove an indictment, and the Imperial coroners ruled that Alith Lehman died a natural death. Well. What do you think of the play? What an incredible performance. This one thanks you. What did you think? That was an incredible performance. That was you, wasn't it? Oh, yes. Welcome, friend. Yeah, what do you think? That wasn't bad, considering the circumstances. You were very brave. You were very brave. Oh. Yes, it does seem to be that uh, this monarch enjoys uh, seasoning people's uh, meals. Yes, R and R. Is this an official matter or something else you want? Well, you asked this one to look into this. Thank you for bringing me the copy of the Common Tongue. I believe this is indeed source of the rumors. See no source of evidence of its speculation, just vague falsehoods. Thank you. Well done. I'll mention your loyal service and exceptional qualities to King Helsinth. And I think we might find further employment. For example, we lack source of information on Almagzexia's temple. Could you help me find a temple informant? All right, we need a source of information inside Elma Ixia's temple. There are rumors of discontent in the temple. Uh, go to Elma Al Ixia's temple, look for someone discontented, listen sympathetically, and find out whether the temple is willing to accept King Helseth or whether the temple plans on acting against him. Uh, well, this one will take care of it. King Helseth, a uh, supporter of the temple? King Helseth is a faithful member of both the temple and the imperial cult. Now, will you help us find a temple informant who will tell us uh, whether the temple is willing to accept King Helseth or will, whether the temple plans on acting against him? This one will take care of it. Good, find a temple important. Report to me if you find out whether the temple is willing to act on King Helseth or whether the temple plans on acting against him. The Nine and the Empire, citizen. Yeah. Justice never sleeps. Justice never sleeps. Yes, and you will never get out of this one's way. Well, as clean as Almalexia's conscience, Sarah. Hmm. Have you heard of any discontent in the temple? These are difficult times, much suffering. There are enemies all around. Yes, there is discontent, but our faith in Almalexia, mother of all, heals and sustains us. Right. What can you tell us on the goblins? Goblins? Mournhold? Heard some odd stories of creatures in the sewers near God beneath God's reach. Never thought they might be goblins. Terrible creatures. Hmm. Good to know. If a few words can help. I'd be happy to talk. Yeah, let's see. Also, oh, this one's wondering where their buddy went.
I'm listening. Sarandar and Everine? Pfft, lies and superstition. Why do you defy temple teachings? Worse yet, now we learn you're an agent of the Emperor, an outlaw. I warn you, just because I talk to you doesn't mean everyone will. Others will eat her weapons when they see an outlaw and a heretic. Yes, yes. But, just one admires your perseverance. I feel the same way. It's been some time now. Thank you. Now, this one would like to uh, speak about discontent in the temple. I am a faithful believer, but Amalexia makes me uneasy. The last 50 years, tribunals stopped working among us, stopped listening and speaking with us. They just worried me and made me sad. Are our gods abandoning us? Are they growing weak? But since Almalexia is lately becoming uh, among us again, I feel more worried, not less. Her face glows brightly with hope and power, but her words seem dark and bitter. Hmm. Well, this one will listen. Amalexia's homilies are full of compassion, understanding, wisdom, and acceptance, but now her sermons seem more intent on destroying the wicked, punishing the foolish, and rewarding the faithful, un the unquestioning, obedient, faithful, yes. These are difficult times, and difficult times to survive, we must be hard. I tremble for the failing of my faith, but the god I once loved now frightens me. Could you tell this one about the temple and King Helsa? Helsa murdered the King Leon and stole his crown. It does not matter that King Leon was a fool. He was our fool. So, as long as the puppet king was a joke, we could all laugh and ignore him. Helsa is not a fool. No one's laughing. Helsa seeks the, in earnest to be king. Then, Amalexia and the temple are sworn in earnest to destroy him. Interesting. Anything good to barter? Good things, but... Almalexia knows. Ah, there you, my friend. Justice never sleeps. Yes, Zarandar, is this an official matter or something else you want? Well, this one heard about some discontent. Found the temple informant tell us whether the temple is willing to accept King Helsa? Or whether the temple plans to act against them. It's one thing so. Also, Andrana speaks her mind, and from what you say, sounds sincere. Handle her well. The temple seems to recognize that King Helsinth will not be content to be a puppet, or a puppet like King Lelthan, or Lelthan, and plans to act against us. Very good work, Zarandar. The king will hear of your loyal service. Now you can help us with another matter. King Helsinth is concerned about the possible disloyalty among the guards. Okay. Loyalty among the guard. I replaced many of the former king's guards with more reliable men, but I have to keep some experienced guards. Can't be certain of their loyalties. I'll pretend do you wish to join the royal guards. That's your excuse for talking to the guards, sounding them out, looking for evidence of disloyalty. 
find any of the treason or hint of treason or evidence of disloyalty, report it to me. Take no action, report it to me. I will judge what action is appropriate. Alright. Anyone specific? I'm not certain about any of the former King's Guards. Ibo Alorith, uh, Ibolin Arano, and Alaria Aren. None of them are particularly clever, not stupid enough to admit treason, but perhaps not clever enough to hide bit of evidence of it. This one will take care of it. Good! Find evidence of disloyalty among the guards, bring it to me. Right. The Nine and the Empire, citizen. I'm an officer of the Imperial Law. Move along. Did you hear what we were just talking about? No. Okay. No, well, this one's here to join up. What did uh, Tyrus the Lion send you to me for? Wants you to be a royal guard? Then you'll be a royal guard. Nothing to do with me. How do I like it? Think I was born yesterday? My mom didn't teach me to blabber a stranger. So old King Lethen was a bit of a fool. He was good to me. King Helsinth is no fool. He's got to keep up with some experienced men like me around. All these new fellows like you, someone's got to teach them their business because they don't know it. Hmm. Well, this one is technically a member of House Alalu. But, um, guess we'd like to hear what you say of uh, Lethen. You hear uh, folks say old King Lethen was a fool? Well, folks could keep their mouths shut. For maybe he was a fool. A lot of folks are fool. Maybe he has no business being a king, but that's what he was, so folks show some respect to the old fellow. Alright. Mm, what can you tell this one of Helseth? It's an honor to serve. It's my honor to serve King Helseth and Queen Baron Zaya. That's right. That's what I said. An honor. Right. Well, this one might be a member with the Halalu. Oh, really? Does Tienus Delta know that? As you talk to Lari Ren, you should tell her that you're uh, House Halalu. Really, but don't tell Tien Darren. Just tell Lari Ren. Hmm. Officer of the Imperial Law, move along. Well, this one's joining up. I don't care. Tienus Delon thinks differently, that's fine with me. I don't like being in the guard. I'm new here. Have a foreign opinion. But I know and trust Tienus er, Tien Delton and expect he'll do right by me. Yeah, I'll tell this one about uh, Lethen. Don't know anything about him. I'm new here. Oh. What do you know about Helset? I don't care. If Tienus Delon thinks you're qualified, that's fine with me. How do I like being in the guard? I'm new here. I'm for an opinion. Um, but I know and trust Tienus Delthin and expect he'll do right by me. I bet he makes a bad enemy. Hard to tell what he's thinking, but if I do my job right, I know uh, Tienus Delthin will take care of me. Okay. Yeah, this one like to join the guard. My father was the honor of serving uh, King Helseth and Queen Perrin Zion Wayrest. My family has served the Queen for three generations. I don't know of your qualifications, but I presume you're satisfied Tienus Delton or we wouldn't be talking. Yes, uh, tell this one about Lethen. It's proper to speak ill of the dead. This is true. And Lethen, my father had the honor of serving King Helseth and Queen Perrin Zion Wayrest. My family has served the Queen for three generations. I don't know your qualifications. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Goodbye. Do you 
you might want to stay. Squeak! Okay, this one's... So, the opinion of uh, Rhonda delivered a memorized, not very sincere sounding speech about the King Hellsent. Well, Pinna and Rhonda is not very bright. Not necessarily evidence disloyalty, but follow on it. There might be more. Yeah. The king's health to you, Sarah. The king's health to you, Sarah. Listen, please go ahead. Justice never sleeps. Okay. Yeah, this one probably should get to the palace guard quarters. This never sleeps. Hmm, nothing in here. copy of the guard duty roster is past several weeks. Handwriting is tiny and almost legible, with frequently misspellings, but three names are always correctly spelled. Lovinia Draylin, uh, Ibulin Rano, and Alaria Wren. And those uh, watches all three uh, are the only guards in the throne who have been underlined twice. Well... Bellinia Rano's handwriting uh, on the note you found. He notes the watches when Draylin, Arani, and er, er, Ren and Rano are the only guards in the throne room. I believe I'll change uh, the watch schedules to prevent that. I'll need to keep a close eye on all three. Very shrewd work, Zarandar. Brought me clear evidence of disloyalty among the guards. I need to help fight uh, evidence of conspiracy against King Helseth among the Halalu nobles. R really? This one just walked in here and you're just like, yeah, so I need you to, um, you know, totally just find out everything about all of that. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Uh. Ugh. <sighs> Uh, 
Evidence of conspiracy, yeah. Old King Halalu's supporters haven't accepted King Hell since the ascension of the crow, uh, throne with good grace. Maybe they think that another candidate, a Halalu candidate, for example, would be better. Uh, maybe they have some plan to express such a preference. If so, I doubt they would be candid about it, but maybe you should search Lethen Manor for documents, diaries, or other tangible evidence such plans. And, uh, like guards in Lethen Manor? Better for you to study. Only the widow of the dead king, Ravani Lethen, lives at Lethen Manor now. There might be guards. Perhaps you should go offer your consolences to the widow. Have a look around. This one will take care of it. Good. Find evidence of conspiracy. Bring it to me. The king's health to you, sir. Ah. Uh, City of City of Magic. Okay. This one needs to add to God's Reach. manner. Well, you're here to offer your respects. Speak to Ravani Lethen, the king's widow. Thank you. How may I help you? Just a bunch of silverware, really. Yeah, this one will take some cash. Very little cash. Must endure our sorrows. Yep. Leave me alone with my grief. Oh, well, this one wishes to offer their condolences. They murdered him. Hell sent them as spiders. Everyone knows, and no one lifts a finger. Imperial justice. Ha! <laughs> Spit on Imperial justice. They killed my husband. Now the wicked man is king. I curse Hell sent. All of his king. May they die tomorrow, weeping, watching their children die today. This one would like to offer their condolences. Bless your honorable soul. Few enough to come to pay their respects. People forget their friends when the winds change. Oh, thank you. Sozi? 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 What was her name? That's a good question. Hmm. Just outside, to my honorable cousin Forbin Bereno. This, uh, be this delivered in haste. Forvin, cannot agree. I'm a merchant. I have no skill in arms. You're a noble, and you're in your prime proven on practice and on the tournament grounds. Though, in truth, I've never fought a duel and have fuel gifts as a liar. No one can doubt Hogler, the bloody aptitude and enthusiasm for mayhem. But he's not a subtle man, more suited for a brawl in a battlefield than an assassin's role. And we cannot trust the Dark Brotherhood. Helsinth owns them. They promise discretion, but their promises are worthless. Oh, 
This one's working for the person trying to kill this one. I'm afraid we must approach the Morag Tog. I agree with you. They'll probably refuse, but at least they can be trusted with uh, to be discreet. If in the end we are forced to choose among ourselves, I fear it must be you. And we have to rack our brains for some plausible pretext that will get you in Hellsense presence. I am disappointed, though. Although not surprised at the lack of public outcry over Alton's murder, popular sentiment seems to be to avoid personal risk and accept Hellsense. It's short-sighted but understandable. I have noticed. Are noted, however, that the writer of The Common Tongue is sympathetic to our cause, clever and eloquent. He may be able to sway opinion. He might should try to identify this fellow and try to bring him to our consoles. Your faithful servant, Bilal Allen. We must endure our sorrows. That we do. You're here to offer your respects. Speak to Ravani Lethen, the king's widow. Absolutely. I'm just standing here watching. It's my job. It's certainly a job. And this one is just sneaking here and stealing. That's their job. This one heard. All right. Well, this one certainly has Evidence of conspiracy. Whatever you want, justice never sleeps. Oh, it, it is this how it's going to be? Might as well just mark their territory here. Well, this one has some uh, evidence. Bloody you found is very interesting. Forbin Bruno, Holgar the Bloody, and Blow Ellen are obviously conspiring to assassinate King Helson. This is treason, punishable by death. I will immediately draw up the writs for their execution. You would do the king a great service if you'd execute these traitors. Alright, this one will take care of it. Excellent, when you've executed the traitors, report back to me. Great. Long live the king. This one isn't sure about that king, but... You need something. Justice never sleeps. This one's just glad that justice moved. Corbin Barano. I'll see how that matters to you. Well, this one has uh, 
Bit of evidence on you. I don't know what you're talking about. It's obviously some mistake. Hmm. You know what? This one isn't sure they like the king, so why don't you just leave? Oh, gods, thank you. Blessings of Nine, and I'll miss me and anything else you'd like. Thank the gods I have marks set. I'll be gone instantly. I assure you, never betray your mercy. Good. about your business, but I'll be watching you. You know anything about Belial Allen? He's a bookworm. Try a bookseller. That's where I'd look. And for Vimbrano? Someone said he left Mornhold in a hurry. For good. Hmm. Well, the bookseller... This one believes is in... In Godreach? No, it's... The opposite side. She still can. But I don't understand. Something matter? Well, this one has a thing on you. Oh dear, I knew this would happen. Please, have mercy on me. Look, if you'll just go away. You've shown yourself an honorable Khajiit. I would thank you, and I will abs absent myself from Mornhold immediately. I would die before I betray your generosity to me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I believe an busy intervention will swiftly deliver me out of peril. Alright. so dark. Gotcha. <laughs> Actual goblin. A goblin club. That does nearly the same amount of damage. As this one's legendary sword. Well, 
all of that is very fascinating. Fine, thank you. What can I do for you? No. Just welcome to my welcome world. To the boss. Where we do I things. The boss my way. Do all the talking. I want to talk to you. Talk to the boss, Strathos. Help me! Help me! Um. The heck is going on here? This one will um, remember this for later. Zog, eh? Health restoration? That's useful. Bring a fireballs. These are very well equipped uh, goblins. This one's helmet is broken. That makes this one sad.
Oh, well, hello. You've got the better of me, so go ahead. Well, this one has evidence of conspiracy against you. Yeah, what are you going to do about it? Well, this one's going to warn you. Get out of here. I don't get it. Don't you want to fight? Oh, wait, I see. You're a good guy. Sure, I understand. Now I gotta get going. Fast, right? Alright, time to use that old recall amulet. So long, pal, and thanks. Alright. This one's pretty sure they're going to be upset with this one for all of that. <laughs> One of every silver item. This one sees are hopped up on moon sugar. Battlefield. Well, that sounds dangerous. Goodness. Palace sewers. Hmm. Well, Bar and Brava, Hogar the Bloody, and Bell and uh, Elena have escaped. All three. There must be a leak here at the palace. Well, you've done the best you could. You have my thanks, and I'll tell King Hel Helsinth that you tried. And I'd like to. 
your help finding the anonymous writer of the common tongue. Right. I can find the anonymous writer of the common tongue and persuade him to stop printing such lies about King Helsin. If we make official inquiries, people like uh, just look stupid and assure us they have no idea what they're talking about. We think that uh, you may have a better luck, particularly if you approach less reputable citizens, persons who uh, place profit above honor. Lies. Helsinth is a poisoner, isn't he? I take your point. King Helsinth is a skilled alchemist and a student of uh, bodily processes, but it wouldn't do to have people referring to our sovereign as a common poisoner, would it? Fine. Tell this one more about this mission. First, we would ask you around to discover who is writing these lies. Then we want you to find them and persuade them to stop printing lies. The manner of the persuasion is left to your discretion. You will be discreet, of course. We don't want to appear to be threatening a time-honored imperial tradition of encouraging free speech. Right. This one will take care of it. Good. Report to me when you found this anonymous writer and made sure that you'll never print lies about King Helsinth again. Right. Well, first... This one thinks they're just going to head home. Oh, How are you, Anasi? Friend. Welcome. Oh, thank you very much, Anasi. This one has got, uh... Many things to, uh, put away. To fix. again. Ugh. Sleep for 38 hours. But that'll be it for this time. Uh, when we come back, um, we're actually jumping through, uh, we're doing pretty well through um, the tribunal um, uh, thing. Um, hopefully, tomorrow we'll try to, uh, especially since all I'm doing is stuff that isn't technically required quests, but, uh, you know good to do 
Um, but yeah, so next time, um, further in and further onward. Have a good one, folks.